Civil War soldier from the Antietam battlefield that was discovered last October by a tourist who saw some bone fragments uh, outside of Woodchuck Burrow. Remains of this soldier that was buried in a shallow grave and had never been discovered since the uh, battle, which was 147 years ago Thursday. It was identified as a New York soldier by buttons. Um, commonly, regiments back then from the various states were distinctive buttons, so they know that it was a New York soldier. It was in a cornfield, but it was near a rock outcrop, so it had not been disturbed with a plow or anything. But we in the Army believe we never leave a fallen comrade, and though it may have taken 147 years, we from New York have now recovered one of our fallen comrades and are bringing him home. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to come and honor the service of someone who gave their life for the state of New York and for the defense of the Union back during the Civil War. I, I can't even put into words the, the what I feel today, the opportunity to be here to honor this person whose name we don't even know. Initially, I read about it in this morning's newspaper, and in the instant that I saw it, I called my office that I will not be in, and you see me when I get there. And I told my wife, I'm putting on my uniform, I have some place to be that's more important to work. I get choked up telling you about it, so forgive me. Just such an honor to be here, to, to honor those that have served America, that have given their life for America, to be amongst this fine group of people, to honor this unknown soldier who gave his life for us. Grant him, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon us.